Good morning YouTube, my name is Sergeant Foos and today we're going to discuss the Hack 5 Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7 again. And today we're going to talk about Enterprise WPA hacking. So this is a very difficult video for me to record because I, I don't have a professional studio, I'm just uh, hooking stuff up all together and I'm going to show you uh, bits of pieces. Uh, so I'm using an iPhone to connect to an Apple TV and I'm gonna see if I can put that into OBS Studio and show you guys how it works. So by going into the pineapple you see I'm running on version 1.1.1 and so on the left side click AP and then in the top you have a button called Enterprise. Um, so in here you need to fill out all your details, so in my case it's uh, Amsterdam, the province North Holland, the country code NL for the Netherlands, and then the email, uh, so this could be like a tag, and then company name and organization. So to give you uh, an ID where this belongs to is that uh, the moment you log in you will be presented by a certificate and the certificate looks like this so the moment uh, the client presses trust they're in and it's done we're successful but it's going to be more tricky when they click more details and if they do they uh, they will find out yeah they might be fooled so so generating the certificate might take up to four or five minutes. So we'll wait for that. In the meantime, I'm starting to share my screen. It does help sometimes to jump out and in. Oh, just lost my connection. Because I think when you generate the certificate, it's going to reboot in the back. I'm not sure. Ah, here we are. So in the top there's an enable button, which of course needs to be enabled. There's a pass-through button. If you click this, uh, the internet access it has a pass-through. This is where you enter all your stuff. And this of course needs to match the target, uh, the company name, the MAC address, which for now is not important. And there is a f are a few options, so WPA, or PA2 and we can downgrade if we'd like to but we're not going to touch that for now so press the save button and we should be good to go so as you can see here here is the new SSID So we're going to enter some random stuff, one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to say join. Now we just lost, of course, because I changed Wi-Fi, we lost the uh, screen uh, capture, but we're successfully back now. And this is what the phone will show the moment you connect. And the moment the client presses the trust button, in here we're going to find a bunch of stuff. See now my uh, now it rebooted, so now I need to connect back to it, and this happens quite often. So unfortunately, I 
you might think, hey, this is uh, this is not right. This screen. That's because you lost access. And here we go. So we did get the challenge, and we did get the response, and we do have the username. So in a real life environment, this would be an email address in most cases. So that was part one of the video and we're going to see you in part two. Thank you very much.